Hi guys, hopefully by now you're following us and we're and you're up to the same stage. Um, what we're going to do now, we've cut the meat, prepped it, it's all in steaks, ready to go, and now we're going to marinate it. Basically, probably the most important stage of build time making because this is where you start the curing process really. So what you want to do, you've got, you've got your steaks, we need some nice malt vinegar, which is what we've got here. Cheapest chips, you know, for what's this? Five litres, it's a couple of pounds, nothing. So You can um, use any type of vinegar, can't you? Yeah, different any vinegar, cider vinegar, vinegar. Or, I mean, what is also nice is you can add a, a mix of um, Worcester sauce, because mm. that's got a very strong vinegar base to it. And also, Worcester sauce is good with beef. So, again, we talked about it in the spice stage, about variations. That's just another variation in your vinegar. Cider vinegar, anything like that. The vinegar itself is, you know, is... Is the, is the key one. So, got a vinegar, I'll just pour it in there, it's a bit easy to work with. Steaks, um, we just need basically a tray to lay everything out. Now, obviously this is a big tray, big steaks, big bottle of vinegar. Now, if you're doing this at home, on or of a domestic scale, just scale it down. Instead of this, use a roasting tin for whatever size suits you. Um, like we said, if the steaks are too big, cut your steaks to seat your roasting tin. It's as simple as that, really. Um, if you want to scale it up, go big, you know, go large. doesn't really matter. So we're just showing you here what to do. So basically, roasting tin, ah, oh, stay there, spice. And of course, the spice that we made up earlier, which is, you know, all there ready to go. So basically, what we like to do, there's a lot of basics in this video, <laughs> but you know, that's the way we like to do it. So you want to put your vinegar, vinegar in first, just splash that around, just so you get a nice sort of spread what's going on. It is a little bit messy, but you know, that's the way it goes. Um, what you want to try and do is have one wet hand and one dry hand. Use your dry hand for your spice. So, you know, that's the spice we made up earlier. There's a good mix there. You can see you got you got the salt, you got the crackback pepper, coriander seeds, that is a nice mix. So then basically in there like that, you know, and just sprinkle it around. So you're spicing the bottom of the tray first. Yeah, I mean basically this is, because obviously you're going to put the meat in the bottom. So if I put the meat on the bottom and there's no spice or no vinegar, it'll have nothing on it. So you're just layering it, it's like a lasagna, you're just layering it basically. So vinegar and spice, is it true that some people actually soak the, the meat in the vinegar? Well, yeah, I suppose they can. I mean, this is how we do it. I mean, this is probably the best way. We've had the best results of this. You can absolutely douse the whole product in vinegar, but you'll just be using more vinegar. And we find it's it does leave a bit more of a vinegar taste to it, though, if it's soaked, does it? Yeah, but, you know, you know, it's all about keeping your cost at the right balance, really. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. So you get your meat... You get your spice, um, and like we said, you know, you might do this for three or four steaks individually in a small tin, or you might do this for 40 steaks. It just entirely depends on what you're doing. It looks so, like you're making a jigsaw puzzle there, like. Right? Well, yeah, jigsaw puzzle or lasagna. Yeah, so you're making it fit to the shape of the. Yeah, so tin. you pick out pieces that are going to help you layer the bottom nicely. You know, there's a smaller piece, just sort of tuck it in there. You know, it's not rocket science, it's food production. It, 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 it'll all work itself out. So again, we've layered that. You've got a nice base there. Again, vinegar on top. I see, so you're gonna layer the next yeah, layer of meat on just, top of this. We just do another layer. So you go meat, Vinegar, spice, meat, vinegar, spice, meat, vinegar, spice. And you just do that and fill your tray up and you'll find that by the end of it you'll have a good amount of vinegar through the whole mix anyway. So you're going to be a little bit more generous with the spice on this side because well, you're going to have two layers, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. So again, spice. You know, just so you get a nice covering you soon, you know, and that's a nice good consistency there. Again, layer number two. 
So, you know, it doesn't really matter. This time you might go this way. It doesn't matter. So, just lay it all in. You're making it a work of art. Yeah. Simple as that, really. Got some nice big pieces there, which are good for built on. Um, That's the piece of the salmon you were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can see the one little beautiful piece of meat there. Yeah, that is a nice big steak. And then, you know, obviously we've got another little small bit here. We'll just tuck that in there. Tidy. Yep, so that's layer two. Again, here we go again. More vinegar. You know, and again, like we said with this vinegar, put some flavours in there if you want. Bit of Worcester, you know, doesn't really matter. You could do, if you wanted to, something like liquid garlic or something. Yeah, put some, exactly. Put some flavours in there. So more vinegar. Again, another spice. Just liberally spread that over. You know, and this is looking very good just as a marinated product. As a, you know, you can, you know, that's going to be good because the preps there it looks good. Right. Okay. Here we go again. Another piece. Right. Now that is literally we've done that, and that's one silver side. So, uh, of course, you've got these pieces here. A little bit left over. That's your top piece. So just do it a bit locally. So just a bit of vinegar on these pieces at the top. And again, just a bit of spice over these because this is a top layer. Just want to finish that off so it blends in. And then basically, nice. So that's good to go. Um, I like to let it marinate, so you know I'd probably give this 24 hours in the fridge to marinate. Just helps all the flavours work in amongst the meat. The vinegar works in uh, into working its way into the meat as well, helps with the curing process. So yeah, give that 24 hours in your fridge, cover it over, um, and then pull it out, and then we'll go to the next stage, which is all about hanging your meat in your dryer or your local little air box or something like that. Uh, which is air and, cupboard. air and cupboard, yeah, which helps in their curing process. So that's it. Your meat's prepped, it's in the fridge, it's marinating. The next stage is the drying process. Talk to you then. Bye.